Hello. Today's video is going to be about attaching a serial mouse to my project. Um, just bit it up. I'll uh, let me plug a light in. So if you haven't seen my project before, or if you have, I'll just show you what we've got set up over here. So we got our seven card slot main board with a V40 processor. This one's running at 10 megahertz. 512k of RAM. Our uh, VGA card, and then a uh, an I/O card. This one actually is like a drive controller. It's got serial ports, parallel port, and a game port. And you can see I've got my serial mouse connected to COM one. Just a regular, ordinary ball mouse, nine pin. I actually had to open this up earlier and do a little surgery on the button. It's just full of gunk. Uh, unplug the light, try to get a better picture. Littered it up already. Um, so what was taking me so long to get this to work, I tried it before, um, was the driver. And uh, I found out you gotta put this forward slash S after the driver for a serial mouse. And this works both in MS-DOS and FreeDOS. And uh, I think if you for, if you don't put that in there, it's looking for like a PS2 mouse. Let's just run a program here that we come up with. You can see the mouse works pretty decent. Let's open a file. See, so there's the auto exec with the. Uh, Cute mouse there. Exit that. So a lot of the reason why I did this today is uh, yesterday I tested IETOS -E on this board and uh, I didn't have a mouse. So today we're going to show it with a mouse. So we'll just kind of go here across the uh, top. You've got these menu bar across the top. Looks like you could exit the DOS, show desktop. There's a window. Just double click, it opens it right up. Run a program. Let's go. There's debug. It's kind of my go-to program. It's real simple. It runs on most everything. File manager. Looks like you've got, you can just double click and it uh, goes through this. If you double click on that, it'll run it. This is that, that uh, game I wrote. Oh, I was trying to use the arrow keys, I forgot it uses uh, WADs. Q exits. Bring this right back. Let's see, so that little button made it full screen. That's pretty nice. Much easier to, to read. So that either minimized it or closed it. Oh, that minimized it. It's down here at the bottom. So these are things I wasn't able to see yesterday without the mouse. You see it shows that we're in the games directory, it looks like. There's control panel. We can click on things now. So we've got file type, configuration. So this is a, it's like a 
built-in configuration menu. Just escape to get out of that. Close the window. Let's see if DOS Edit will open. I think yesterday it did not. Give me an error code. So, that makes sense. Uh, yesterday the screen was all messed up, but it had that kind of box there, so that's what it was doing, was giving me an error code. Uh, I wonder if that's because it's running on FreeDOS. Go here to the DOS prompt. Lost my mouse. So, let's uh, shut this down. And I'm going to boot MS-DOS because I want to run Microsoft Diagnostics. Oh, i got to hold the odd button on this. HDMI, the screen turns on automatically, but VGA, i got to hold the on button. So oh, Microsoft Diagnostics. Let's check our COM ports. It shows we have this one. There is a COM2 on the board. Maybe the jumper isn't enabling it or something. I guess we have two though. OPT ports. Check our IRQ status. So we've got IRQ4, which is showed when we uh, installed the driver. Serial mouse, cute mouse. Fixed disk, yes. Floppy disk, no. That's not necessarily true. Mine's all custom. Click on the mouse here. This tells you what we got here. We got a serial mouse, uh, Microsoft, DOS driver, serial mouse, com file. So, that's Microsoft Diagnostics with a mouse, which is pretty handy. I'll do one more thing here. I'm going to boot a... This is an actual AMD 8088. This one's running at 4.77 megahertz. Let's see how this one handles it. I actually haven't even tried it. Oh, it may not. May not like that BIOS. I forgot. I have to switch over to the other BIOS. Yeah, it's... So there's a earlier version of the BIOS that you have to run when you run an 8088 over a V20 or a V40. That long beep is a indication that that's the uh, other BIOS. Let's try to get the screen back on. You can see here in the system list, it must auto detect it or something, and it finds all those ports. We don't have a game. Well, actually, that card has a game port, but it always shows a game port for some reason. 
You can see it counted the memory a lot slower, being a slower megahertz speed, really. All right, let's see if it works. So, uh, it did not like that at all. Now there is a, I've got a mouse driver that's the Microsoft driver from years ago that may work with the 8088. Maybe the cute mouse is, uh, it's got some 186 code or something in there. It's not hard to accidentally slip some in when you, uh, write your, uh, programs. So, anyway, uh... Well, thanks for checking out my video today. That was uh, just kind of some demo on my uh, serial mouse.